All right, today we're doing a little fishing on the Sacramento River, uh, going through these little shakers. There's my pole right there. Uh, see if we can get some keepers. Caught a few already, um, just little babies, but they're super, ooh, that one's hitting hard. Super fun to catch, and you're catching them all day long. Uh, so it's super fun for the kids, or if you just want to catch and release, uh, it's awesome. Uh, I'm going to show you guys here what, oh, hold on. A couple tips on the bank. Uh, if you are fishing on the bank with bait, uh, normally you don't really cast it out too far. Um, but in the summertime, these fish, these fish are getting lethargic. They don't like the heat. Um, they don't like it above like 78 degrees uh, water temperature. So um, in the summertime, bomb that sucker out there. Get it out in the middle. Uh, don't use too heavy a weight. And uh, if you're ever around rock, um, use a oval or a disc. Um, just shaped uh, uh, weight. Don't use a pyramid because that's the puppy's gonna get snagged in those rocks, and you're gonna lose all your rig, and it's gonna be upsetting. And uh, that's not what fishing's about. So uh, I want you guys to have a good time, and uh, that's what fishing's about. So uh, you don't need a super heavy setup. Um, these aren't very big striper out here right now, um, but like I said, these probably like a four aught hook would be good with a three ounce disc uh, weight. And uh, bring your kids out here. If you guys are trying to catch on a bunch of fish, it's super fun right now. Uh, I can't even talk without getting bites. See behind me, it's just uh, getting bites left and right. Uh, all I got is night crawlers on right now, and uh, I'm just casting uh, the synthetic worm out and uh, seeing what we can get. When you worm it, you want to hide that hook all the way that worm on there slide it all the way up the line if you can just keep sliding it through the tip and always leave a little bit hanging just like that you can slide it up the line just like that Guys are hitting hard. Guys are hitting real hard. He choked that one. First little shaker. You guys are uh, headed out there. Um, it has been really windy lately. Um, so just be prepared for that, kind of dodge the wind a little bit. And uh, if you're going towards the delta, always keep an eye on that on that tide. Um, those fish, they do feed on that tide near the delta when they're close to the ocean like that. So uh, incoming high tide is always gonna be your best bet. Right now they're headed back. There's a lot of schoolies in the system, um, but they are still headed back um, from the Calusa spawning ground area. Um, they're headed on their way back to the ocean still. Um, this, this is a uh, extended, season we're having here um so you're still going to catch some uh, keeper striper in the sacramento river um right right now in the june month um which usually uh doesn't happen uh but on my next video i'm going to go out to the delta and we're going to go catch some keepers out there uh show you guys that they're they're really feeding right now big time uh they're coming back from spawning still and uh they're just hungry they're empty stomachs and uh, they're hungry uh, I've been catching uh, quite a few shakers so far. Haven't been ever too long. Pretty much whatever you use for bait right now, um, they're gonna they're gonna be biting. Uh, sorry for the wind out here, guys. It's been uh, pretty windy lately out in the Sacramento River in the Delta um, this this summer. But just real quick, um, the CDFW uh, they closed sturgeon. Sturgeon and salmon is closed for the year, guys uh it's really ridiculous i'm a little upset about it i did kind of stop uh, fishing sturgeon when they crushed the regulations a year ago um so hopefully um things will get better they only the, in the meeting they only let a few people talk i guess uh i heard very few people talk for very limited time that i guess each person only had a minute to talk and uh these guys that were trying to talk these guys are way way more knowledgeable knowledgeable 
than these scientists uh, just in the office, just reading a book. These guides are fishing the fish every day. They're on the water every day. They know the conditions. There's a bite. And uh, those are the people, those are the, those are the real biologists, uh, the marine biologists in my mind, uh, are the guides, the people who really, really care about these fish and they, that's their life. Um, that's all they care about. Um, I mean, not all they care about, but that's, they love, they love the fish. Uh, so they care about them a lot, lot more than most people. So they, they protect the fish. And, uh, if you don't give these guys a saying, um, then I think that's just a big mistake. So hopefully California turns around and, uh, they do reopen sturgeon and salmon. I mean, salmon, king salmon is so fun to catch on the Sacramento River. So uh, hopefully next year they'll open it up. In my opinion, just real quick here, guys, I don't wanna go into it too much. Uh, instead of instead of them uh, making these projects and building all these side dams and stuff for the salmon beds, for the salmon to come and spawn, uh, why don't you just open up the dam more in the summertime? If they open up the Shasta Dam uh, a lot more and just let that water flow through the Sac River it would make these salmon so they can spawn in their natural spawning grounds. They'll be able to go up all the way up the river and spawn like natural. And get rid of, reduce the population population of these sea lions. Uh, these sea lions are killing the salmon, the sturgeon, and the striper. Here comes another boat. It's crazy traffic uh, on the water right now. Uh, but yeah, those two things, and I think it'll really, really help. <laughs> This one's a little bit bigger. Hey, at least you guys are jam right through here, right where I'm catching a freaking fish. Ah, I can't stand those people. Hooked them perfect. This guy do it. Nice. Water clarity is definitely clearing up quite a bit here. And uh, if you're a halibut fisherman, uh, the bay is just on fire right now. All the charters and guides are all limited out by noon. Uh, even the striper, they're catching nice striper out there. Um, so if you're trying to catch on, get on some uh, striper, um, your best bet's gonna be going in the delta or the bay with the boat. Um, but if you have no boat, um, somewhere along the bank, look for some rocks, um, either rocks or a nice sandy uh, um, sandbar. <laughs> My goodness, they're getting smaller. That was on the second hook. First hook, second hook. Just a baby. Just a baby. Trying to meet that worm. Definitely been eating that guy. Holy smokes, look at that. That thing went through his mouth and the outside, his gill. All the way through. Push it back through your gear there, buddy. There you go. Oh. They spit it out. Hey, I love every single one of you guys. You guys are all my friends and family out there. I appreciate every single one of you guys uh, for watching and uh, joining in.